All right, um, this is kind of a, a hacked up uh, DIY project, um, but I thought I'd show it because this is actually something that we use in the studio here. Um, some other people have been posting videos online about a motorized uh, tabletop dolly for rotating small products. And it gives an interesting look in the video when you're rotating the product around. And uh, I know Jared uses it quite a bit, and Dave has actually created his own uh, motorized um, you know, like Lazy Susan uh, on his site, uh, and, and they both came out really well. Uh, so anyways, this was actually a project I worked on um, a while ago, maybe like a year ago. Uh, the goal was we needed to rotate um, an actual person. So uh, what I did, and this is kind of hacked up, this was an unfinished version, but um, I guess timing with everyone else's uh, videos, um, I thought I'd just show it. Anyways, uh, most of those Lazy Susans um, that people are using is based on Lazy Susan bearings, which you can get online for, you know, a good six inch one, maybe you can get for a couple bucks, uh, you know, 20 bucks or something like that. Um, but because I needed to rotate several hundred pounds, if possible, uh, I went with a front hub of a Jeep Cherokee. Um, I used to work on cars, so I know that these hubs are really strong, really, really smooth, and um, so that's kind of what I use for my my dolly project here. Now, uh, what most people do in their their tabletop dollies is they're driving a motor through the center of um, their table, and that actually is a little bit harder on the motor. You still don't need a strong motor for small products, but if you want to rotate a human. Um, that motor has to have a little bit of torque to it. So the way I have things set up here, using this uh, hub, hub, this wheel hub from a Jeep Cherokee, um, it rotates very smoothly. And I also have the, the motor offset here um, to the right. And uh, let me just explain that. If I was to drive a nail through the center of this board and I, and I wanted to turn this around uh, through the center using my hand, it'd be pretty difficult, but um, because I have this belt driven from the outside of this, uh, you know, the outside circumference of this uh, wheel here, um, it's actually very easy to turn. Um, so th the way I did this, this belt setup is I have three different size circles here. Um, so you see I have one here, I have a smaller one in the middle, so it's a smaller circle, and then I have a larger one on top, and this gave me a groove to kind of run some sort of belt through the middle. Now my belt is kind of janky right now. We actually use uh, an inner tube from a bike tire. And then I just kind of split it in half down the middle all the way around. Uh, and it doesn't take a lot of uh, tension um, to turn this, this entire hub motor. So uh, I motorized it by um, using a hacked up drill. So this is an example of the drill that I used. Uh, I cannibalized one of these drills, which is really cheap. I have some L brackets, just kind of holding it up over here. And then uh, I left the variable trigger on here, and then I ran some wires so I can actually operate this while standing up. And then it's powered by the same battery that runs uh, this drill over here. So as you can see, I can turn this. And the, the table here is very smooth. And then also with the trigger, I can actually reverse direction if I needed to, which is completely unnecessary because you could reverse it in post as well. So uh, just to give you an example, we'll have uh, someone stand over here. And I can rotate this as slow as I want, or I could speed it up if I have to. And that is how we spin heavy products here in the studio. So anyways, this uh, front wheel hub you can get for um, around 20 something dollars and that's going to give you a uh, Lazy Susan product table that could spin hundreds and hundreds of pounds. Um, and you don't need to motorize it. Uh, actually, sometimes we don't, we just uh, remove this. This actually just pulls away. It's not even mounted. And 
I can spin this fairly easily. So that's it. That's the uh, DIY um, lazy, motorized Lazy Susan.